Today, we are here to talk about Scale Network. Scale enable developers to deploy their own EVM blockchain in minutes with enhanced performance without sacrificing security or decentralization. Ethereum's effect on blockchain technology is unprecedented. We all know this. The network's introduction of smart contracts and easy creation of tokens made it very popular. Ethereum-based projects dominated the DeFi and the NFT space in the last bull run, but Ethereum is still a work in progress. Even the introduction of ETH 2.0 is still below how a global decentralized network or protocol should function in this day and this era. This has created the need for scaling solutions such as Polygon, Optimism, Loopring, XDAI, and of course our interest for today, Scale Network. I will compare Scale Network to its competitors in a separate video. So please subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss out. Scale Network aims to solve Ethereum's issue by supporting an unlimited number of independent blockchains with zero gas fees, instant finality, and high transaction throughput. Scale is the first live blockchain with linear scaling. As more nodes join the network, the capacity of the network also grows. Developers can rent scale chains that each act as a private Ethereum compatible smart contract platform with faster block times and the ability to process more transactions per second. Because developers and enterprises pay to run on the network, users pay no fees using the apps built on Scale. There are some awesome features about Scale that we should know, and I'm going to um, highlight some of them. Ethereum's native. Scale is both interoperable and built in an integrated manner with Ethereum. The revenue collected is shared between Scale and Ethereum, making it a win-win for both ecosystems. Like I've said already, it is linear scaling. It has unlimited capacity and grows as new nodes join the network. Instant finality. And it also supports on-chain file storage. The network is very secure because it uses ABBA consensus, that's asynchronous binary Byzantine agreement. Skill uses a leaderless proof of stake consensus. It has an uncapped number of independent nodes. 46 different validators run about 150 nodes. The list includes some of the top validators around in the crypto space. Validator nodes are assigned and randomly rotated to scale chains by a mainnet contract. Nodes will be removed from and added to one or more chains on a non-deterministic schedule. This revolving process of random node rotation enables every configurable blockchain to leverage the security pool of the entire network on behalf of each chain. Scale Network is highly effective for building and scaling Ethereum-based applications, ranging from games to decentralized finance to productivity, media applications, and everything in between. Earlier this year, Scale launched a 100 million value ecosystem incentive program. The ecosystem incentive program aims to invite high quality DApps and projects to join the Scaleverse. This is to power up projects development progress. As a kickoff for the program, Scale first introduced a $5 million value grant, the Scale MP program, to fuel the blockchain gaming boom. The grants have already supported several DApps, including CryptoBlaze. In fact, CryptoBlaze have already made significant traction. Within four weeks of the game going live, they reached over 2.5 million transactions on their Scale chain and have transferred over 100,000 NFTs to Scale. Recently, it also announced the NFT Visionaries Grant. It's going to provide 10 million SKL to artists, to projects, and to creators to expand the NFT space. The artists, projects, and creators who are selected for a grant will not only receive an allocation of SKL tokens, but they will also have an ongoing educational, networking, and marketing opportunities. So if you are thinking about applying, well, the grant is mainly available for projects that are in their mid to late stage development or creators that can get their collection live within two months. Also, projects should be focused on the NFT format, including but not limited to functional NFTs, collectibles, streaming media, and arts. If you meet the criteria, check them out on the website is skill.spaces or you can join them on the telegram or discord and you can learn more from there the ecosystem is already growing some notable names include api3 bitgo consensus the graph metamask 
ledger and many more recently wire joined the scaleverse ecosystem if you don't know wire offers builders on the scale network an array of plugin and these plug and play tools are going to be utilized in a variety of crypto and payment solutions the integration supports um the swaps api transfers api checkout widget users api and wallet api we also have xdao a multi-chain dao ecosystem and it has a huge market cap as well then razor network a decentralized oracle is now live on scale before we look at the token economics of the skl token scale recently celebrated the second year of mainnet launch in august 2020 the token launched on consensus activate i had the opportunity to participate in the sales i have to say we have all come a long way hopefully the developer and community growth will be shown in price action in the long run and if the growth continues surely the financial reward will follow skill is powered by skl tokens the token is an erc777 and is backward compatible with the more popular erc20 standard it means all Ethereum apps with ERC20 support can also support ERC777. The token is needed in all the network's economic activities. Some of the activities is needed for include staking. SKL holders um, can delegate their stake um, to validators and they will earn reward for that. And it also acts as a lenses. Developers purchase their subscription access to scale chains using SKL tokens and it's also used in governance and voting SQL tokens will soon be used for on-chain voting and it's going to be very very significant for decentralized governance staking the SQL tokens has always been available right after the sales all tokens were staked when the staking period ended the participants received their initial staked amount and the staking rewards but this was only available on consensus activate if you participated in the ico or the token sales then you know what i'm talking about but with the introduction of binance skl staking and many other platforms including staking um, users of binance in particular um, can now easily stake their tokens about skill markets well it's already listed on all the biggest exchanges right now on binance coinbase ftx and if you intend to hold it for long and you have no intention to stake them on centralized exchanges, then I will ask you to get a MetaMask ledger or some other alternative wallets and keep your SKL tokens safe. The price of the token went as high as $1.20 in March 2021. It's currently trading in the 0 0.03 range and we'll have to do about 35x just to reach the previous all-time high. Scale has a max supply of 7 billion tokens. Every analysis I make is always based on the maximum supply, which gives the maximum valuation possible at a given time. So at $1.20, we'll be looking at a market cap of $8.2 billion. This is not a small market cap, but many projects have surpassed this figure with far less adoption and value creation. In the best case scenario though, SKL can hit at least $10 and gives it a market cap of $70 billion. This is going to demand more than adoption and it will require significant support from the media, something similar to what Solana did. But Skill Network had some, some of the best VC backings during the token sales, although I do not know which VCs have sold or which VCs are still holding their tokens. But with the connections of consensus products like Metamax, Diligence, and Activate, consensus is probably still involved and they are very, very, very um, involved in Ethereum as well. So it's a good sign. It would be nice to have this data though, um, not just for scale, but with all cryptocurrencies. If a VC or an influencer is listed as an investor, advisor, or whatever, the list has to be updated and communicated to the community if this relationship ends or something. Co-founders Jack and Stan are serial entrepreneurs. Jack is an entrepreneur with a deep background in machine learning, AI, technologies, and blockchain. Stan also has a PhD in physics. Well, um, that's smart. Spent 16 plus years as a technology executive in Silicon Valley and has 18 years of cryptography experience. He even started um, or had a crypto startup 
back in the 2000s. The full list of the team can be found on the scale.space website. Well, guys, this is Investor's Vibe. My name is Philip. And to cut it short, this is everything I wanted to talk to you about Scale Network. So Ethereum has opened the gates for Layer 2 to be successful. And I'm rooting for Scale here. I think it has what it takes to make things happen. I do a lot of fundamental analysis. Please take a moment, subscribe, and hit on the notification bell. Bye.